Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts and honesty about FX air guns. More specifically, the FX Maverick VP in 22 caliber. I've had this for a couple weeks now and I thought I would give you my honest take on it. With that said, I'm gonna get into the good, the bad, and the really ugly of this air rifle and brand, I should say. So keep watching, let me tell you about it. With this FX Maverick VP model, they come with the threaded shroud so you can add attachments, whether it's LDC, moderator, or whatever have you, and it's half by UNF thread. This model is dual regulated. You have a regulator up here, right by the bottle, and you have a regulator right here. It's supposed to help with precision and spread on your shots. With this 400cc air cylinder, you get a lot of shots. Another thing that this FX Maverick offers is the 20 MOA rail. So that means you don't have to use scopes that require adjustable rings because they'll be set pretty close with additional 20 MOA rail. And it's Picatinny. And also you have Picatinny attachment rails as you can see with the bipod here and on the side of the gun on both sides. Another good thing I like about this is the adjustable butt plate on this model. I've never shot an air gun with that feature before. As you can see, this model has the adjustable hammer settings just like the FX Wildcat. Obviously, it's side cocking lever. And without a moderator attached, it's pretty quiet as is. The gun is definitely well balanced, I'll give them that. And also, this has one of the biggest plenums I think FX ever put on an air gun, which is 89 cc's. So you can get some powerful shots. It definitely has a decent trigger. I've never shot an FX trigger before, but it seemed all right out of the box. I didn't set it. Now, let's get ready for the bad things. If you're changing the reg settings all the time, you're gonna be using a lot of air. And why is that? Because this plenum is 89 cc's and the air cylinder is 400 cc's. You're gonna use or waste about 25% of your air resetting the reg every time. Another thing that really put a bad taste in my mouth was the packaging. They just put this rifle in an FX box with two foam pad pieces and then Pyramid Air shipped it to me. Even lesser expensive air guns come in some type of cardboard cutout or cradle in the box and not just let the gun slide around and when it gets delivered it could be possibly damaged. Also another thing I've noticed guys is that if the gun is not cocked, you hear that? It rattles. How about that? And for the price of being over $1,400 when I purchased this from Pyramid Air, it just does not seem up to par to me for some reason. And also, the 18 round magazine that this model comes with is just not that great. It, it seems so loose on tolerances that the pellets just want to twist and wobble around in the magazine. So you guys ready for the ugly part now? Let me get into it. So with this FX Maverick, believe it or not, this is the second one I had to get because the first one had to be replaced due to the fact that the O-ring leaked at the regulator. Next thing that I found once I mounted an Element Helix scope, which has also been replaced on top of the scope rail, the scope rail and the barrel are out of alignment and it's horrible. You cannot get this out of the gun, I promise you. And I'll show you because I have targets set up at 25 and 50 yards downrange here that I'm gonna shoot here in a second. Another thing that I think should happen is that they should put a gauge for the first and second regulator, not just bypass the second regulator or the back one to set them all. The process is so tedious, again, you're gonna be wasting a lot of air doing it. And from my opinion, it seems that anybody reviewing these FX air guns do get them pre-tuned from whoever the vendor is in their video that they shout out or whatever the case may be. Because tuning these guns or setting the regulators is very time consuming and it wastes a lot of air like mentioned. So now with that said, let me get it on the table here and shoot at 25 yards and 50 yards just to show you how bad that this barrel and scope are out of alignment as you can see. The barrel is wanting to point to the right, and you cannot get that out. That's a problem. You can see that the scope, Element Helix, 
is set at mechanical zero. Second target is 50 yards. Take another to confirm. To the right of target. Close target is 25. To the right of target again. Second shot just to confirm right of target. That's 25 yards and about four inches right of target. And that's 50 yards. Scope is leveled properly, vertically plumb, shooting with plumb lines downrange as you can see. The scope is just not aligning with the barrel and the barrel is pointed to the right. So you're probably wondering, besides the fact that I said that the barrel is pointing to the right, how do I know that besides shooting it? Well, I have a set of feeler gauges and I'm using the 3000s feeler gauge and on the left side of the gun, the 3000s feeler gauge can slide down the shroud in between the scope mount receiver. And on the right side, it cannot because it's contacting the shroud. So I'm showing pictures of this with and without the shroud on the barrel. And you could just clearly see, plain as day, that the barrel is pointing to the right. Okay guys, so I don't I don't understand how these FX guns are made like this, but that is not up to par for me for spending $1400 plus on this rifle. That is unacceptable in my opinion. Like again, I cannot be more truthfully brutally honest with you guys about this gun. Everybody dreams about getting an FX air rifle if you can't afford one. But in my eyes, they're really not up to par. And if the barrel is out of alignment like that, it's no wonder why a lot of these shooters claim that their shots are being blown by the wind if the barrel is already pointed one way. You'll never get your scope and barrel aligned. You might intersect once, but farther down range, as you've seen, it's gonna veer. Now to be different if the 25 yard and 50 yard target were lined up because I use plumb lines, but with that said, you can see that the shots are even more farther apart. And that indicates that the barrel is pointed more toward the right. And farther you go out, the more drift it's going to veer to the right. With or with no wind. And again, I cannot be more honest about this gun. And I hope that all the other models that they offer are not like this, guys, because that is unacceptable. Again, the packaging from Pyramid Air just thrown in a box and two pieces of foam you know, for this price of gun, that really put a bad taste in my mouth. And also, you know, the claim to fame is their quality, but how can you claim quality when your barrels don't even line up with your scope rails? Again, this video is just my honest opinion and truth about this gun and my experience with it. And they're just not up to par for me. I cannot believe that people are okay with shooting something like this 
and seeing that downrange and claiming the wind out of a gun that's $1,400 or more, depending on which model you get. So that's all I got to say about this again. So I've told you guys what I really liked about it and what I didn't really like. And now that's just the ugly part of it with this rifle. But I appreciate you watching as always. And again, I hope you got something from this video and I hope you understand what I was talking about downrange. If your point of impact never lines up, even with plumb lines, you know, I would have to correct the scope and really cant it at an angle away. And it's already, I've already swapped the rings. I've already torqued it one way. I can't get it out and that's a problem. So I appreciate you watching as always. If you made it this far, thanks again.